you might consider it an expansion from the inside out, opening up more doors for technical college students who graduate and want to continue on with their education at the university. A new articulation agreement signed by the presidents of both Dixie Tech and Dixie State University allows students to transfer rather seamlessly from one educational institution to the other without duplicating classes, saving both money and time. It's removing one more barrier that either it's real or it's perceived, uh, but it is a barrier. Uh, and so by creating this pathway, we know we, we, uh, we open up uh, access to uh, perhaps individuals who didn't think they had access before. Uh, what's exciting is now we've identified all these different pathways that when a student comes to us and say, I want to be a nurse or I want to be a web designer or if I want to be you know, in the IT field, we can map out a path for them. This gives students the best of both worlds. They can come to Dixie Tech, get a marketable skill, they can go straight to work uh, and do really well. And at some point, they can come to Dixie State University and add to their education. And honestly, can we ever have too much education? Courses at Dixie Tech will transfer one-to-one -one at Dixie State. Courses that take up to 900 hours can now turn into credits. Those students who earn certificates can transfer and continue on at Dixie State. Um, so I think a lot of students who start at the community college do it for many reasons. Um, a lot of it's financial uh, and they want to know what the stepping stone is and how do they get to the four-year degree and what does it look like. And I think it's just, again, demystifying and creating awareness of, yes, your credits transfer and this is how they transfer. The new Memorandum of Understanding currently impacts students who are studying in several fields, including nursing. We have IT, lots of classes for IT, digital media design, drafting, and pharmacy. So those, those students who are in those programs can all come. And then there's a general uh, uh, articulation as well that really makes it possible for any of our students in any of our 900 hour uh, certificate programs to come and get an associate degree as well. And I think it's just really learning and listening to your student to see what is the student's need and where, where do they see themselves. The 2020 Utah Legislature reformed higher education this year, placing all technical colleges and universities under the Board of Regents. The competition's gone. We're in this together now. It's a, it's a big and. Uh, we will be thrilled with uh, funding that goes to Dixie State University. I think they'll be equally thrilled for funding that comes to Dixie Tech because we're in it together and we're in it for the students. We can talk with one another. We've always worked well together and now we're just under the, the same system and so that we will have more opportunities to collaborate with one another. Over the next nine months, both entities will work on a marketing campaign to get the word out, letting students know their options. Not only can students come here, but as President Williams said, the students can also uh, go to Dixie Tech if they're struggling here um, and still earn credits toward coming back if that's what they choose to do. And I think when you have a traditional institution and a technical institution that can come together, gain understanding, really appreciate what the other has to offer and you can communicate that to students, uh, what a win. From Dixie State University, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.